Hey everybody, Terry here with CEBlades.com, CE Blades in Cutting Edge Gifts in Lubbock, Texas. And here we are with another installment of our Knife Maker Spotlight. This time we're going to be concentrating on um, Mickey Yurko. Uh, Mickey is a retired police officer from Ohio, been a knife maker for well more than 30 years. Uh, been a member of the Knife Makers Guild, various other associations, does a lot of the knife shows. Um, it's also like longtime martial artist, uh, ranked with NBC with Michael Janich and, and various other organizations. Uh, he's an artist, he makes hand turned pens, he makes jewelry. Um, I got a couple really nice pieces from him on that end, makes really good rings. Uh, his pens are beautiful, but as is the title of our, our presentation today, he's mostly known as a knife maker. Uh, Having been around so long, he's been he's been lucky enough to have been picked up, does some custom collaborations with companies like Boker under the Boker Plus line. Uh, an example of we have in the store would be this is the last one that he came out with, and that is the backdrop. The backdrop is a basic hunting skinner style blade, very, very comfortable ergonomic handle, no hot spots on it whatsoever, very smooth, very nice transitions between all the different grips pretty comfortably. But the big thing that sets Mickey apart is he's very creative when it comes to defensive use of edged weapons. And you can see a lot of influence from like the OSS, SOE era, World War II kind of covert weapon stuff. So what sets this knife apart from anything else that you see out there, Mickey invented this little screw-on attachment that he calls a canoe. And you can see it right there. <laughs> Went the wrong way. And what that does is it attaches to the holes at the bottom with a simple set of screws, Chicago bolts, and it turns your fixed blade into a pocket knife because the canoe is basically a double-sided pocket hook. You pull forward, it hooks, you pull back, it hooks, and it turns your fixed blade into a pocket knife. He also has another attachment that comes with this that is a leather patch, basically, that screws on in the same place. So if you want to carry it in your back pocket, or if you have cargo pants on, want to carry it in your cargo pocket, this will catch and hold it in. And there's enough give on that sheath to where it comes right out. So once again, you have a pocket knife that you have a fixed blade you're carrying as a pocket knife. Also includes chain if you want to carry it as a neck knife. But Mickey excels at custom knife making. So we're going to move on to that. Um, first one we're going to pull up is his fruit knife, and if you look at this, one of the reasons Mickey is as appreciated as he is is from start to finish, handle, blade, sheath. Uh, he has some Japanese style knives that he does the wraps on. He does everything start to finish, grinds, sharpening, you name it, he does it. This is another example of that. Here is a skull pattern Kydex sheath on this fruit knife. And if you remember several years ago, about 2015 or so, fruit knives became a big deal in the defensive knife world. If you uh, need a throwaway, if you're traveling, you can't take your good knife with you, you can go pick one up, you know, Victorinox root knife, paring knife, whatever, and use it instead. So Mickey started thinking about this, and this is his answer to the fruit knife. And if you look at it, it's got a very, very good profile. Looks very similar to the uh, Kershaw Talon, the Southern Comfort that was adopted as a Pacal folder. Very reminiscent of that shape. Uh, no hot spots on the handle, got some really nice traction grooves here, uh, which makes it very secure to use, utility use, it excels at. Slight hawk bill profile, so you get some good rips out of it. And I really like the handle because it's neutral. You can put it edge up, edge down, switch around to reverse grip here. It fits any way you want to use the knife. Uh, the sheath, a lot of thought went into that. And if you look at it, it's got a little, like sweat sweat guard right here that acts as a thumb brake, so you can push that down and it slides right out. Of course, since it's Kydex, it'll snap right out if you need to use it in a hurry. Boom, there you go. But that's just an example of the craftsmanship and thought process that Mickey puts into his work. We also have another version of his fruit knife with the, the blue G10, blue and white G10 from VZ Grips. Um, same profile, same everything. This one's very smooth and it comes with a leather sheet that has a little G-clip attached to it. Um, just take a look at that, see all the grinds and everything. It is very, very nice. You will not find better craftsmanship going right now. 
But I'm excited about this part. We get to move on to the knife that really, really turned me on to Mickey's. God, it was early 2000s, 2003, 2004. And I saw this versus take a look at the whole package. There is nice Kydex sheath, got a G clip on it, attaches inside the waistband, very, very easy. You can use it as a uh, weapons retention tool. You can use it as a, a regular utility knife. It's got a very nice Skinner profile going on right here, almost like a severe clip point. Very good grinds. Uh, Mickey made this particular one out of 3V, which is going to be a very strong knife. Very smooth handle, high polish on that G10, and very secure, goes into reverse grip very well. But what sets this one apart, and what really, really intrigued me at the time, is if you look at it, the shape of the, the bulb style handle, and how thin that neck is right there. If you live in a locale where push knives are illegal because of the T handle, which is usually what's the definition of a push knife legally, you have this one set up exactly like this. You curl your hands into it and all of a sudden you have a push knife that you can use for your weapons retention or your defensive needs. Uh, everything on this, it's chamfered very well. There's no hot spots. You can use this for hours as a utility knife. But as with all of Mickey's work, it really, really shines in a defensive role. So in closing, we're going to have these up on our website, ceblades.com. We also have a variety of his work split between our two stores in the South Plains Mall, Cutting Edge Gifts, and our CE Blades location here in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, if you have any questions, drop us an email, just send us a message on our Facebook page, and we would be happy to answer them for you and explain anything that you need. So once again, Mickey Yurko, Knife Maker Spotlight, one of my favorite knife makers on the planet. And uh, we hope you really like this video. Thank you very much.